What's on Your Mind is sponsored by ACC 339.0, New Star Radio, 98.7 FM, Breakthrough Studios, and Reggae Jam Jam. Good afternoon. How you doing? Welcome I'm to fine. another program in the series of What's on Your Mind. I am Carl. The program is produced by Breakthrough TV at gmail.com. How you doing? Let me say thank you. For all you guys who's actually tuning to the program. And all you guys who've been watching the program, let me say a big, big shout out to you. I want to say a big shout out to our guests last week. Honey B, big shout out to you, Honey B. Wonderful program with us last week. Absolutely marvelous. Check out her new tune as well. Rootsy, the Rootsy girl, check out. Also, I want to say a big shout out to Tina B. Also, check her out. Also, um, Heather Haywood, check out her track with also Sugar Rain, Sugar Rainbow, yeah. Also, I want to say a big, big shout out to all you guys, as I say, to tune into the program. And I want to say a big, big thanks and a big, big shout out to Mr. Bonnie Johnson. Now, Mr. Bonnie Johnson always watched the program. Mr. Bonnie Johnson was the first British person of color to win the British heavyweight champion. He came to the UK at the age of 16, yes, and he did great. In a report a couple of years ago, he, he speaks of the days of systemic racism in the 70s. But he, with, with all that, and he, he, he never stopped him from being the British heavyweight champion. As I say, he came from Jamaica when he was 16. And he became a regular Brummie, ad adopted to Birmingham. You know what I mean? Which is absolutely, he still lives in actually Birmingham. And I want to say a big shout out to him and his wife. And I say he, he always watches the program. And when we talk about Windrush Generation, yeah, there was Bonnie Johnson. Now, before, before John Conte, Lloyd Honeygan, and Frank Bruner, Lennox Lewis, Chris Eubank, all those boxers, you know what I mean? There was Mr. Bonnie Johnson, and he is still with us. So we want to say a big, big shout out to you, Mr. Bonnie Johnson. And as I say, his wonderful wife. Had a great chat with his wife this week, and she's actually a fantastic woman. Fantastic. A big shout out to you, Mr. Bonnie. And as I say, his family. He also had a club in Birmingham and he, he also helped young boxers to get into boxing and sports and all that sort of stuff. He actually had a club in Birmingham called Club International. I think it was situated in sort of where we call the, there's a place in Birmingham called the Watering Hole. It's all changed around here now. There's no longer that such a place. And they've changed the road and the whole setup of the road. You know what I mean? He actually had a club around there. And in the early days, groups could, groups from the city or local groups could always go there and play there, you know what I mean? And it was actually sort of get them to get a look at uh, uh, incoming artists, you know what I mean? Could always go there and play there. So he was also a big supporter of local talent as well, you know what I mean? So we want to say a big shout out to you, sir, Mr. Buddy Johnson. And as I say, when we talk about Windrush, we are celebrating Windrush, you know what I mean? When we talk about Windrush, there's no other person that comes bigger than Mr. Bonnie Johnson. Yeah, so we say a big shout out to you, sir. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the program. Now, my guest this week is a wonderful lady. Her name is, wow, the wonderful Sugar Rainbow. And she's an artist. She's a singer. She's a songwriter. She does tours. And she is a wonderful lady. Sugar, are you there? How are you doing? How are you? How's your day been? Um, yeah, it was a bit hot. It's, it's still hot, actually. It's, it's very hot. hot. Let me say, yeah. welcome to Break Your TV. Welcome. Welcome. So, let me ask you then. I've got to ask you. The name. Let me ask you the name. Sugar Rainbow. <laughs> How did that name come about? A comic book? No, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? From what? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like it. It's like uh, I have that name for years, actually. Yeah. Long time, donkey years. <laughs> well, one, one, wonderful day, wonderful day. And um, you're a singer, you're a songwriter. You've done collaborations with different people. We're gonna talk about that a little later on. So, where did it all started? Oh, a long time ago. Very long time ago. How do you sort of get into all sort of music and, and being a singer songwriter? How do you, what was your, what your first journey into music? 
journey was uh, when I was actually five, six, seven years old. I started humming in music. You know, children, they, they hum everything. Yeah. <laughs> so automatically, everybody is a songwriter if you about, you know, so you hum your own thing. Mm -hmm. So that's what I did. And when I grew up, I still was humming. <laughs> And I think, where does all these melodies come from? Hello. <laughs> so, yeah, I think what, it's from above. What, so, uh, what sort of things you was humming to? What kind of shorter genres you was humming to? I can hear a whole song in my head already uh, every time. And I have to quickly record it on my phone. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it's gone, you know, in a couple mm -hmm. of seconds. Or when you dream, you dream a whole a song, a whole song. I don't know where it's coming from, but <laughs> I don't think it's me. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. So what was what was those early days starting as a performer, an entertainer? How did that come about? I had an American uh, manager before, okay. and he had all those gigs around, and I met a musician, and I built up. Uh, a studio in my own home. Okay. Did two albums. I think I have one here. <laughs> what is that called? Oh, that was so old, you know, but 13 songs on there. And I got another one and, and after another one. After that, I went to America. Can yeah. you see? I can see, yeah. 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 Yeah, he, he was working with a lot of people back in the days. <laughs> oh, great. All these, yeah. But how far? All these how far? How far? How far? Oh, was long ago. How far? That's years ago. <laughs> how far are yeah. we going back? How far are we going back? 80s? 90s? Hundred years. No, no. <laughs> Leave it down. No, nobody live. Nobody live for a hundred years unless you're very, oh, very. Exactly. Nobody live for a hundred years unless you're very, very lucky. Well, you never know. Well, so eighties, nineties. That's why I made that song. Uh, you know, uh, think about. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna come back to that. We're gonna talk about that a little bit later on. I mean, we, we're coming right up. We're gonna talk about it a bit later on. So say we. We're going back to the 80s, 90s. Was that your major influence? Oh, yes, definitely. Yeah. yeah. All the so, funk and disco and soul. Even the 60s are good and okay. 50s. Yeah. I like all kinds of music, actually. I'm not one to stuck on, on to funk only, but I did all rock. I did reggae. I did all sorts of stuff. So, yeah. But I like funk. <laughs> You like funk. Yeah. I like my I like my funk myself. I said funk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah, I think the seventies and eighties were the best in that time. I like the I like the eighties and nineties. Yeah, I like the I like the nineties more R and B, but it's good yeah, too. Like, yeah, it, it was good. It was not, yeah, more R and B, but it was nice. You know what I mean? And it was yeah, there was, very a, nice. there was a yeah. lot of stuff. There was a lot of stuff actually going on in the nineties when the R and B was. Yeah. It switches. It switches a lot to the nineties. The R and B groove switches a lot mm -hmm. to sort of different different levels. You got some really nice tracks, you know, what I mean, like TLC, you know, what I mean, and all those sort of artists. Yeah. And then it sort of switch again, yeah. you know, what I mean. And then you had the you have what you had the influence yeah. of the hip hop that actually comes in also. Yeah, yeah. yeah. celebrating fifty years. That's right. I was yeah. crazy about him back in the days. Yeah, it was a and big whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> Wooten Clan. Yeah. I like well I like artists like Warren G, which was our yes. sort of great. Nate Dog. Nate Dog is no longer with us. Yeah, Nate Dog. Oh wow. He got beautiful melodies too. Yeah. yeah, um, yeah. And MWA, you know. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, MWA is mm -hmm. for me. Is... When hip hop was hip hop, you know. Yeah. <laughs> when we say when we say Whoa, yes. when we say when we say yeah. fight the power. Woo! Absolutely. You know I mean? But even, even funny enough, <laughs> even funny Woo! enough, artists yeah. such as um, play play, man. he's so funny, yeah. Great, even great artists stuff. such as Grand, Grandmaster Flash, um, because he was singing, he was singing, mm -hmm. he was singing about his his environment. Don't yeah. push me. He, yeah. So. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. Woo! So he was actually singing about. 
his environments. And he wasn't yeah. killing anybody. You know what I mean? So hip hop hasn't changed. Hip hop hasn't changed. Yeah. And he wasn't yeah. killing another brother. You know what I mean? Yeah. And he wasn't shooting another brother. Even though he was mm -hmm. singing about his neighborhood to make his neighborhood better, mm -hmm. he wasn't singing about boom, boom, boom in somebody else's head. And he wasn't dissing yeah, women. He wasn't dissing <laughs> women. I'm gonna, Come I'm gonna do a we're yeah. gonna do a show. We're gonna do a show about hip hop, the good and the bad mm -hmm. about hip hop. Because I mean everybody say hip hop, hip hop, hip hop. You know, it wasn't as a, there's a part of hip hop was actually disrespecting a lot of women. You know what I mean? Yeah. A lot. <laughs> anyway, let me move on. <laughs> so what makes you decided you wanted to be an entertainer. No, no, no. I'm not really a performer, but yeah, of I did you are. before. Of course you are. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I like the production side of it. Uh, yeah. I'm more a songwriter, more the production. Yeah. I don't know these days they call it all different names: producer, arranger, writer. What is it? <laughs> I don't know the difference, but yeah. Uh, I think arranger is, oh, put the chorus there and the bridge there. Maybe, yeah, that's what I'm doing too. So I don't know. And yeah, and it's it's good to work with um, other people, collaboration. Yeah. And so, how long have you been producing? And how did you sort of get into that? Um, you just write, you just hear the melody and you collaborate with musicians you know yeah. and they can hear that they hear it in a different way or something and and they bring up the song you know yeah and they become one great and you, around you around the melody great and have you produced a lot of tracks or for different artists um no not really <laughs> okay 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 i wish You've also worked around London quite a bit over the years. What's that like? I love London. It's very down to earth. It's a good place and it's musical. It's vibrated. Um, it's a lot of action and it's, yeah, it's really good. I love people very down to earth. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Some of the good. clubs, some of the clubs you've actually worked there. At London. Sometimes I still go out, but uh, the clubs back then, yeah, most of the clubs are gone. Yeah. And I love dancing, so <laughs> have a shake a little leg, you know? <laughs> and I did electric boogie before as well, you know? <laughs> and that's different because it's not musician, but it's more like a beat. Mm. So you did the popping. When I was very young, you know, I don't do that anymore. But, uh, okay. Yeah. You was very, you're still very young. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I don't know why. No, it's, it's true. You're still, you're still very young. <laughs> I don't know. I what keep it together. Thank who you. Have, who have been some of the famous artists that's been an influence on your musical career? My influence is in everything, uh, even film music, okay. you know, uh, opera, <laughs> rock, hard rock, <laughs> funk, everything. Uh, you got so much beautiful artists out there. It's it's amazing, you know. Okay. Right. Gospel, um, everything, what you can imagine. You've told me you actually um, work, I see on your file, you actually work mm -hmm. on yeah. this cruise ship. Tell us about the cruise ship. Cruise ships? Yes. Cruise ships. Did ships. you say cruise ship? Cruise ship, ship. Ships. Oh, yes, yes, I did. Yes. Ships in the That's sea, come fun. on. Tell us, tell us yes, about you fun. working on the cruise ship. What's that like? Yeah, but it was for older people. I mean, 
older, older, I mean, like 80 plus, you know what I mean? <laughs> Those songs. And then you sing like crazy, crazy for feelings, you know, those kind of songs. Uh, but uh, after a while I got bored um, because it was just, uh, <laughs> you know, you make a living, but uh, it was, I wanted to have something up tempo, you know? Mm. And I like tempo songs, but I like slow songs too. Okay. But yes, I love all kinds of music, but when I was working, on the slow songs, though those songs depressed me a bit. <laughs> so I wanted to have some more uplifting. So I joined more party groups, you know, mm -hmm. and I met John there. John is a wonderful bass player. Okay. Uh, and after that, I did my own band. We did that as well. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was all fun. It was all fun. They were a great band and I put all the good musicians together. So, yeah, if you put the good musicians together, it's like magic. Okay. So that's what I did. And, and sometimes if one didn't make it or whatever, you always have depths, you know? So in the end, you, you end up with lots of positions. Okay. It's all up-tempo. And mm -hmm. I thought, yeah, I think I like this. <laughs> Party and, songs. And how long, um, say, you tour on a cruise ship? How long, how long say... How long I say it, it was? Too long because I got bored in the end. <laughs> Sorry? Not too long because I got bored in the end. You bet. But uh, I did it for a while. Okay. Yeah. Didn't you sort of feel seasick on the ship? No, not at all. No? No. Amazing. <laughs> amazing, amazing. You also do tours. What is it like um, touring? What is it like touring? Being on the road? Uh, tours. I was touring with um, a reggae band, uh, okay. The Chosen Few. You know that one? I know The Chosen Few. Yes. Yeah, they're my friends. They wow. really nice people. Yeah, and I also on the on the album of them as well. Okay. You 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 sing on the album with them. Yeah. Where did you go? And then I did. Where did you go? Huh? Where did you go? Where did you oh. Come to in London, in London, um, uh, in, in, in Birmingham, in, um, Leeds, uh, Manchester, you know, around, around the UK. England. Around the UK. <laughs> Just a tour, small tour, yeah. Nice. And then I did uh, backing vocals for TikTok, that was famous in the 80s. But that was a long time ago. <laughs> Marvellous. That was rock music, actually. I did the opera stuff. <laughs> <coughs> my apologies, my apologies. And um, what is what is it like? What work like sort of working on stage with sort of different people or different artists? What is it like? Yeah, it's all right. But I think I'm more a songwriter and production. But I yeah. like stage as well. But uh, yeah. more, I like um, backing vocalist as well as a backing vocalist. Okay. Yeah. Okay then, who was one of the most famous person you've actually worked with? Who is a famous? What do you mean? Everybody's yeah. famous. Everybody, <laughs> you know, you know, somebody like, <laughs> you know, like somebody. Because I, I talked to, I talked to your good friend, Heather Haywood, and she said she oh, was yes. on stage. She was on stage with um. Lovely. I talked oh, to your lovely. good. I talked to your good, good, your good friend Howard. He yeah. Sorry, Heather Haywood. And she says you yeah. were on stage with yeah. the great we performed together. Whitney Houston. Yeah. You yes, performed she did all sorts of stuff and I did sorts of stuff, yeah, different songs. 15, maybe 15 years, 10 years, I can't know. I lost time. You <laughs> lost in time. Yeah, yeah so long. How did you find it? How did you find it then? How did you find it? And Beautiful in the Heart. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And I know, I know, I know you know people like the chosen few, and they're working with Shalama. Now, so I know you know people, or you come across people like the, um, the chosen few, and they are actually working with Shalama. Uh, my producer is working with Shalama. Okay, what's your producer yeah. name? John Thompson. Oh. Whoop, whoop. 
What does yeah, what does that mean? Yeah, what does that mean? What, what? Yeah. They are they actually um doing the fortieth anniversary tour, aren't they? Yeah, they go everywhere around. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Not the original, not the, ori not the original lineup, but they still got Jeffrey Daniels and Howard Hewitt there. Yes. Oh, he was my neighbor. <laughs> Jeffrey Daniels. Jeffrey Daniels. Yeah, Colonel yeah. Pop. Yeah. <laughs> Colonel Pop. He's great. He's great. Fantastic. Good. He's a good dancer. Very he's good. good dancer. Yeah. Well, he's, he's, a, he's a legend. They, all they, they, uh, they are talented, yeah? They're all talented. And the band is talented as well. All the musicians, they're all talented. Backing singers. Great stuff. Do you yeah. have any stories? Um, that being on the road, that you like to like to tell us, you know, any stories like you've been on the road. I mean, oh, I, we've... Can write a book. I don't think we're gonna go down there. <laughs> Just one. Just one. Oh my god. Um, which tell which us, one? Tell us. Um, which tour? Any funny stories? Any special moments? Any special moments. <laughs> I can't think of anything, sorry. Yeah, it, it was all fun. It was all fun, basically. Yeah, and, and they're all lovely people. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, we had fun. Ah, the good old days. <laughs> Something special. Um, American. <clears throat> from Detroit you work with. Um, yeah. Tell us all about that, that, collabor production. that collaboration. A very good production. It was his yeah. production. OK. And yeah. you you get together. Did he come to the UK to do that, or did you go to the United States? No, we just uh, take it on over the internet since the lockdown. Anyway, uh, Alinci is, is great. He's fantastic, very down to earth. He's a lovely guy. And it all, sorry, a <laughs> good production. Marvelous. Very good. Marvelous. Yeah. Um, and that song was actually long, was a very old song of mine, but they redone it. So yeah. that's, that's good. And you have, you had a track called Cause. Is it Cause? Chill. Fear Chill is, is called, oh my God, that is, <laughs> I got him right here. Yeah. He was signed up with me together. Yeah. And he wrote the song. So, and I sung it. Yeah. Love, for, what about Love from Heaven? Love from Heaven. Love, love from love, Heaven, I wrote Love it. from Heaven. What sort of, yeah. did you, what sort of inspired the track? The Love from Heaven, from within. Okay. Kind of a spiritual song. Can you elaborate for me a little bit, please? And tell us about Rainbow Funk. I see a story says Rainbow Funk. What is Rainbow Funk? Love from heaven. Um, it's all love, you know. It's like uh, it's like like you said. What is Rainbow Funk? Rainbow Funk is a, a music production mm -hmm. uh, with bright colors, uh, peace and love. The music hopefully bring people together. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You know, to connect, music connects. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. And okay. it's music is spiritual anyway. So, <laughs> mm -hmm. definitely. And how did, how did that came about? You hear the whole finished song already in your head. Oh, so, yeah, that's and, it. <laughs> and who produced um, Love from Heaven? Just going a little bit. Love from Heaven. Who produced the track? Me. Oh, you produced yeah. the track. Great. Fantastic. I did. What about, is it Roller? Is it Roller Zone? Roller Zone, yeah. yeah there What's was that actually... Uh, What's that about? The music of... Oh, roller skating. I did roller skating back in the days. Was you good? And uh, he wrote a song, well, the music for it. And I heard it and I thought, wow, it's okay. It's very nice. So... Uh, I left there in the studio and I come up with some humming 
and I think, oh yeah, this reminds me of roller skates. Wow. So yeah, and I write something about roller skates. So okay, that's what I did back in the days, but not anymore. And and, <laughs> and, 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 you, and you enjoyed it. I've never I've never been roller skating. Never been roller skating. You did. No. You didn't. No. That's great. I'm yeah, you, I think I can't do it anymore. I'll probably break a leg. I'm telling you, <laughs> I went. I went. You know, I, you know, I went back into it. Yeah. I went. Maybe. I went ice skating. Making... I went ice skating once. Never again. Oh, I, ouch. I was, I was very young. <laughs> what happened? Well, to be honest, me being me, I, oh. I, went, I went with a couple of friends and yeah. three, went with three ladies. And me being me, Say, oh, Woo-hoo. I'm gonna, tr- I'm gonna try this out, and you know yeah. what my, you know what my friends did, they actually took yep. me and says, come on, Carl, and they put mm-hmm. me in the middle of the ice skating ring, never been <laughs> skating before. Oh, lovely! <laughs> and, and did you fell down? Did... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and what they did, they leave me there. <laughs> oh no! And I'm, and I'm How did you get up? I'm crawling. I couldn't get up. My back was gone. My arm was gone. Everything was gone. And I had to crawl. Hands and knees. And hands and knees. That's embarrassing. <laughs> I know. And my friend, I think, I, think I, I, went to this le- I went to this young lady. And I says, please, please, please help me get, my, get me back to the safe zone. <laughs> yeah. That's happened to me too when I was, uh, I tried to back to roller skate again and mm. it didn't work because I, it was too, too long, too long ago. Yeah. So I just crack on my, uh, my trousers and it was a whole, uh, a hole in my pants. <laughs> so, and I had to go home like that. That was very embarrassing. Yeah. <laughs> I was, I think, oh, oh, I have that down. So I think the, the trousers was ripped, so I had to throw it in a bin. Embarrassing, yeah. embarrassing, or what? Embarrassing, so I had to go like that on the bus. Oh dear. <laughs> yeah, but never mind. That was fun. Yeah, and I've never, I've never tried it again because that just left. You know, you know. Sometimes something just stick in your head. Let me ask you then: Are you signed to any record label? Which one? Yeah, before in yeah LA, I lived in LA before Burbank. Okay. Just great, great stuff. Okay. We used to party in 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 uh, rodeo. Where's that? Rodeo Drive. Sorry, rodeo Where's Drive. That? Where's that? Rodeo Drive is 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 the uh, major long <laughs> uh, street, basically, with all the beautiful shops. Very expensive, but yeah. <laughs> okay. What we talk. Oh, we talk about expense. With, uh, and, and you know, uh, baby face. Uh, when we talk, yeah, when we talk about when we talk about expense, what we're talking about, say, a beautiful handbag, a ladies, of course. No, it's not for me. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you know, it's all good. It's 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 beautiful. Fashion is beautiful. Fantastic, fantastic. Any hobbies? Yeah. What are your Actually, hobbies? Actually, I was uh, going to. Uh, I was. <laughs> I was doing a fashion design, also in uh, university. So, yes, I can do if I want to. Uh, yeah. Will you? I like it. You never pursue that. You never carry on with that. Um, I did some. Uh, I designed one for imagination. <laughs> Okay. And my sewing machine went broke, and I had to do it quickly. So I ran to a sewing machine shop and said, "Can you do this for me? Can you do that for me?" And when when it when it came out, it's like, "Oh no, it was not the one what I had in mind." But you know, mm-hmm. uh, I think, hmm. yeah. But yeah, he, he used it anyway on stage with mm-hmm. lots of lots of <laughs> So, any hobbies? 
Yes, dancing, music, film. I'm going to share a little bit of information with you. Yeah. Now, I want to say big congratulations to Rihanna. Rihanna has had her second child with her wonderful husband. Or, yes, they, it is alleged that they have got married some time ago. So, as I say, Rihanna has had her second child, a baby boy. He was actually born the 3rd of August. So we say big, big congratulations to her. Also, children celebration at the Jam House. That's the 27th of August. And as once again, Mr. Basil Gab Gabidan and his band will actually be there um, celebrating the whole Trojan journey. I want to say a big shout out to you, Catherine. Hope all is well, well tuned. Yeah. So you can, as I say, you can tune into that and check that out. So, as I say, wonderful things yeah. coming up. Oh, back again. The, um, oh. <laughs> I, can, I can hear you there. Where are you? Oh, <laughs> What did you do? <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> Welcome <Sorry>. back. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh. All right. I like what you. I like what you go. Wow. Wow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what you been doing, girl? What you been uh, doing? I don't know. I didn't touch anything. Are we online? Yes, you're live. You're live. Really? Yes. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> hey there. What's up? This is Sugar Rainbow and this is here. This is Carl, the main man. Woo! Oh, lady. Sorry. You work with, you've done the track with um the wonderful yeah. Heather Haywood. Haywood. How did that come about? I wrote that song, uh, whew, the melody, sorry. Yeah. Well, last year, I had a melody in my head. I wrote about 10 melodies. Okay. And I thought, this one is actually good for Heather. Okay. Let me call her and see what she say, you know? Yeah. And Heather say, okay, I, um, let's do this. Um, uh, there's no music actually there first. Mm. Um, no lyrics, nothing. Just yeah. the melody. And she liked it, and I said, "Okay, we can work on that." So yes, and and my producer said, um, um, "I can hear some good stuff there. Yeah, we can work on that." So he got his. If it's about John, he's doing his own thing with his musical thing. You know, what I mean, I, I'm not interfering. So the, the Rainbow Funk team built yeah. the whole music around yeah. that melody. Yeah. And after he said it, me I thought, okay, this is it. But can you do, can you do a solo, a, a, a bass solo on that one? He said, no, no, no. I said, yeah. <laughs> so I need that. He did it. So um, yeah, just arranged it a little bit. So I sent it to Heather. Well, actually, first I did some lyrics, and yeah. I couldn't find the lyrics of the second verse. Okay. So I said, uh, she, actually, she, she said to me, can I write something? I said, yes, the second verse, please. <laughs> so yes, yes, she done the second verse, with great ideas. Um, yeah, and uh, the ad libs on the end as well. And she called me, she said, can we do this? Can we do that? I said, yeah, no problem. Send me, send me some, some, some vocals, you know. So yes, and I arranged the vocals. Uh, with Put it together, send her vocals up to um, John. That's how it goes. <laughs> On the track, it's doing quite well because it's in the UK soul chart. Yes, I'm amazed actually. I'm so amazed. I'm thankful for all the DJs and fans and friends and everybody else that actually like the 80s vibe still yeah. going on. <laughs> Yeah. I'm actually surprised because, you know, I didn't want to do any modern stuff. I just wanted to do, I just was, you know, stay there back in time, basically, yeah. like a time machine. Yeah. So, 
how did you get to know Heather? In a party, actually, uh, yeah. through Ray Parlors. He was an amazing saxophone player. Yeah. He works with Incognito. Yeah, I've, I've heard of him. I've heard of him, yeah. And, uh, yeah. A lot of people, actually, and he's amazing. Uh, I met him through, well, I met her through him, and he was like, come together, everybody, togetherness, you know? Yeah. He was a lovely guy, and unfortunately, yeah, he passed away, so it was very sad. Yeah. yeah. Um, anything coming I up? Actually, I actually have still um, stuff from him. One of the tracks when but it's going to be a reggae track so, okay yeah what have you got coming up in the pipeline anything you're working on anything you're working on in the future yes of course writing 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 and more writing where can we find your music um rainbowfunk.com all the links are out there any, um, what you got to say to your your fans or your people or those out there who are watching this program or who is listening to your music? What you got to say to them? A special message? Oh, stay positive. Stay positive. And thank you all for actually liking the music, what we're doing, what we're creating. Um, it's an honor. Hello. I'm gonna try and see if we can continue that. At the the program is actually coming up to close, so we probably will have to end the program in now. So let me say thank you for tuning in to Breakthrough TV. I want to thank my special guest, um, Sugar Rainbow. Big big shout out to you for taking part in the program. All you guys, what's on it? Watch the program and take part in the program. Please don't forget to share the program. Have a great weekend. Look after yourself. God bless you. And my time is here. I want to say a big shout out to Sugar Rainbow. Also want to say a big shout out to Heather Haywood. And don't forget to check your track out. Think about the track is actually great and it's doing very, very well. Big shout out to you. My time is here. Must apologize for a little bit of issues with the technical issues that we've actually had. Um, Sometimes, as you know, live stream, the signal goes in and it goes out. God bless you. Take care. And because of the heat also, we know it gets hot all across the world. So the temperature can actually affect the whole system. Good afternoon.